Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. I also go by Ashwar and Ashwar Plays over on TikTok. And I am back with another mods video. And this is for mods to improve the gameplay for the high school years expansion pack. And I'm gonna be honest, the pack was a little bit underwhelming. And it is unfortunate that we as simmers have to depend on mods to make the Sims 4 enjoyable. But thankfully we have the modding community to make our games much more enjoyable. So as you can see, my sim Chastity is currently doing her homework and I have a few mods to improve the homework interaction for the teens. Both mods are by Little Miss Sam and they are the Better Autonomous homework and the Subject homework mod. And so for the Better Autonomous homework, this allows your teen sims to autonomously do their homework if they are A, B, or C students, which is great because sometimes I forget to have my kid and teen sims do their homework. This mod also comes with a few add-ons that I have in my game. Yeah. The first is faster homework and your sims will complete their homework based on their grades, which basically means an A student will complete their homework faster than let's say a C student. Your sims will also autonomously put their homework in their inventory. And the last add-on is NPCs only do their homework at home, which means that if your sim invites their classmate over, they'll no longer autonomously do their homework at your sims home. And so the subject homework mod is pretty self-explanatory. It allows your kid and teen sims to raise their skills through homework. So now when you click on your sims homework, they are now able to raise their skills in certain activities, which is great, especially if you have Discover Uni and you want your teen sim to earn a distinguished degree. Also, let me give a quick introduction to my sim. As I said before, her name is Chastity and she is a teen sim that is attending Copperdale High. She has the serial romantic aspiration and uh, her traits are outgoing and romantic. And she also has an alluring trait, which means that she is more successful at romance than other Sims. And if you're watching my High School Years Let's Play series, these traits, it, it all makes sense now. Everything makes sense now. Um, but she currently has a boyfriend and his name is Romeo and we will see him later at the school today. But as you can see, she's wearing her school uniform and the uniform is by Moonchild. I will also have the link for this uniform as well as all the mods mentioned in this video in the description below. But that leads me to my third mod, which is the Fashion Authority mod and how you're able to assign school uniforms to your teen sims. And so another YouTuber has done a detailed tutorial on how to use the Fashion Authority mod. I will also have their video in the description as well. But basically what you'll need to do is you'll click on your sim, you'll click on the fashion authority button and there'll be a create thread option. You'll click on this and you'll have a pop-up that'll ask you if you want to create an adult uniform or child uniform and we will do adult and then it'll ask for your fashion preference and we will select feminine frame. The next pop-up asks for your restriction type and you will click on career. And then you'll have different options for your teen sims because Chassie is on the cheer team. She also has a cheer uniform, but we're going to click on the high school student option. And now we have created a thread. It is called the unnamed uniform, but you can change the name for it down here. And we're going to call it feminine school uniform. And then you'll select the uniform you want for your sim to wear in the modify and cast option. And now you're able to select any clothing article you want to be your sim school uniform. And as I said before, the school uniform is by Moonchild. And I'll also have the link to the more detailed video for this mod in my description. I believe the YouTuber's name is Sim with Shan. Okay, so before Chastity heads to school, I'm going to touch on the fourth mod, which allows me to add more students to Copperdale High. And in order to download this mod, you will need to create an account on nexusmods.com, but it literally takes maybe like two minutes to do. But once you create an account, please be sure to read the creator's notes to make sure that you thoroughly understand how to use the mod and if there's any incompatible mods that you have in your game. But once you read the description, you'll click on files and you'll download the main file, which is titled more classmates. And I've already downloaded it, but it has been updated pretty recently. 
And so what we'll need to do is click on Chastity's mailbox. And now we will have a high school students option. We will click on this and you will now have a few options to choose from. You can also have the ability to add faculty members, which I have for the cafeteria. Currently only one cafeteria staff member will show up to the high school, but now I have two cafeteria staff members. You can also add more teachers, more janitors. I believe you can only have one principal. But again, please look at the creator's notes to double check on that. Um, but you'll click on the add option and you'll have the ability to add any of the teen sims. But since I've already done this, we're gonna click on high school students. And so now we have even more options to choose from. You're able to assign students to different clubs, like the football team, the computer team, the chess team, or the cheer team. And so, as I said before, Chastity is on the cheer team. So we'll click on this and you'll have an option from all of your teen sims to add to the cheer team. But once you add your teen sims to your school, you can also have the ability to assign them to different classes. Currently in the sims, you can only have two classes, but with this mod, you're able to have up to four classes. Um, what you'll need to do is just add two more whiteboards to your school lot. But I currently play with just two classes. It makes my classes feel much more crowded this way, but automatically your teen sims will be added to class two. And that is why you don't see that option here. And so what you'll need to do is assign some of the students to class one, three, or four. And as I said before, I only have two classes. I have class one and two. So we're gonna click on class one and you'll have the option to add or remove students. And now you're able to assign students to each class. For my Let's Play series, I assigned classes randomly. I just selected every other student like this and then assign them to class one. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's super quick and easy to use. Um, I will also have another YouTube video linked in the description that is much more detailed overview of this mod. Okay, so I lied. We're gonna go over one more mod before Chastity heads to school. And it is the Calendar Tweaks mod by Little Miss Sam. And what this mod allows you to do is prevent exam and prom days to be generated for every week. And so by default, all of the exam and prom events are disabled from the calendar unless you turn the event on. And because I added this mod after the prom event for this weekend was generated, I was not able to remove it for this week. But um, if you check next Saturday, there's no longer a prom event as well as the Saturday after that. And the same goes for exam days as well. And so in order to allow prom events to happen on a certain week, what you'll need to do is shift click on your teen sims homework. And now there will be a calendar tweaks option. You will click on this and you will have the option to toggle on allow exam to be added or prom to be added. And because I don't want prom to be added for every week, I'm going to toggle this off. And so now when I shift click on the homework again, it will be disallowed. And so next weekend, prom will not be generated in the game. However, if you do want a prom event to occur in the game, you have to turn on the allow prom to be added at a certain time period. The time period is from Saturday at 11 p.m. to Sunday at 3 a.m. And during this time period, the game will generate a prom event for the following Saturday. And so after the game generates the event, you will come back to this menu and you will click disallow prom to be added. I hope that isn't too confusing. Um, I would definitely suggest looking at Little Miss Sam's notes to get a better description for this mod. Okay, so now we're going to head to school with Chastity so I can show you the rest of the mods. Okay, so Chastity has made it to the school. I'm gonna go ahead and show the seventh mod. This is the Teenage Interaction Reactions mod by Missy Hissy. And what this mod does is adds new moodlets, notifications, and sentiments to some of the interactions for the teens in the game. And here are the following interactions that have been edited. We have Ask About Woohoo, Give the Woohoo Talk, Boast About Messing Around, and Spread Rumors About Woohoo. And so now if your sim or another NPC sim uses these interactions, your sim will now get a moodlet notification or sentiment as the outcome. So in order to show this mod, I'm going to add Chastity's boyfriend propose. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no. I'm going to um, 
I'm going to control him, which is another mod I have in my game. Um, it's not high school related, but I will also have it linked down in the description. Um, this allows you to control any Sims that are not in your household. So we're going to control him and apparently he's angry. I don't know why, but I'm going to have him. Um, let's ask him about Uhu. Let's do that. <laughs> And we'll see what kind of buff uh, Chastity gets from it. Ah, Phalage Vinay, Narfawit. Kalimpo. Oh, Creed so clavy. All right, so she got a buff from it, and it looks like she got a notification as well. And it says, well, I think I can answer most of your questions. I'm not too sure about all of them, but anything I tell you I know is true. Don't go listening to any of those rumors. Oh my gosh. I love this mod. It just adds so much more depth to your game. Um, but yeah, she got a proud buff from it. Shared knowledge. Chastity might not be an expert in the subject, but at least she could answer a few questions about Woohoo from a fellow teen. It's better not to get information from suspicious rumors. Oh, this mod is so good. It is so good, you guys. You gotta get this mod. Ooh. Oh, now she's flirting with him. Y'all, Chastity really is out here playing these men. If you're watching my Let's Play series, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to stop controlling Romeo. Let's see if we can add another person. Not me being messy. Not me being messy. We're going to add Cameron. And this time we're going to have Chastity interact with him. Um. Okay, this time we're going to do the boast about messing around interaction. Droid. Oh, they're hugging. Cho Baba Harfane. Vantabo Fimpy. Walks. Okay, well, whatever she did, it made him very flirty. This time it looks like she got a playful buff from that. And it says, Hook, line, and sinker. Chastity was just boasting about messing around with a partner. And the audience lapped it up. Naturally, Chastity exaggerated a few details, but who cares when everyone is in awe of her accomplishments? Life is very, very good. <laughs> Although perhaps it would be better if it were true. And it looks like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like Cameron got very flirty from that interaction and he got a buff from it. It says some Sims have nerve. Having listened to another teenager's boasting about messing around, Cameron wonders how others have the nerve. Maybe it's time to pluck up the courage and kick things up a notch. So yeah, I love this mod. It's very detailed and it adds a lot of interactions for your teen sims. Okay, so the next mod I'm going to be showing is the School Tweaks mod by Chipped Sim. And what this mod does is it allows you to have more active interactions during school. And so these interactions include texting other sims, using social media, using social bunny, playing with the phone, browsing websites, doing homework, doing extra credit work, doing makeup homework, and studying for exams. And the best part about this mod is that you have the possibility of getting caught by the teacher if you do any of these interactions during class. And so what I'm going to have Chastity do is uh, I'm going to have her check her social media timeline and we're going to see if she gets caught by the teacher. She is sitting in the back. And so I think she'll be less likely to be caught, but we'll see. Girl, are you gonna do it? Uh, um, um, let's try something else. Send a playful text. Let's send it to her boyfriend. And let's see if it'll let her do it. Oh, it will. Ola watching the Remo vlog. It looks like she's not going to get caught. Oh, period. Oh, she got away with it. <laughs> okay, so the second part of this mod is the locker overhaul. And with this tweak, you're able to do several interactions with the locker now. Now you're able to assign lockers to NPC sims which is great because now when you click on an NPC Sims locker, there's a prom option and you can click on that 
and now you're able to leave a note for that specific sim. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Camille's locker and uh, as you can see, there's a lot more pop-ups. We have grab stuff from locker, which means your locker now has an inventory system, which is great. You are now able to change your outfits as well as buy school supplies. You're able to buy textbooks in here, electronics, sports equipment. There are a wide variety of things that you can purchase now. Okay, so the next mod I have in my game is the no constant phone mod. And what this mod does is it prevents your sims from using their phones for the following interactions, walking or running, chatting with sims, watching TV, movies, and the like. And so now you'll notice that my sims aren't on their phones. Instead, they're eating, doing their homework. And yeah, um, this mod to me is much needed. I hated seeing all the teens on their phones. And so definitely would recommend getting this mod. Okay, so the final mod that I'll be touching on in this video is by Little Miss Sam and is the NPC Relationship Autonomy Fix. And so apparently with the High School Years expansion pack, the NPC Relationship Autonomy interactions were happening at random, which is absolutely crazy. And so Little Miss Sam made a mod to fix with this issue. And so now as you can see, you have to have a few requirements in order to get some autonomy interactions. Like in order to be asked to be an NPC's best friend, you have to be at least friends. Or in order for an NPC to propose, the NPC sim must have a romantic relationship with your sim in order to do so. And so yeah, another important mod that you need in your game. And so these are the mods that I'm using to improve the high school in my game. As I said before, the link to all these mods mentioned will be in the description as well as a few YouTube videos. But I do have a high school years let's play series on my channel that I'd love for you to check out. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. It'd be greatly appreciated. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next mods video. And I will see you all in my next video.